Hello students. Now today we are going to do an activity and let me tell you activity is the important part of this subject because it helps you to explore things. It also helps you to improve, improve your thinking ability. So let's do it with the right spirit. Now the material required for the activity is we will be requiring some art sheets, some black, two or three, three, four black art sheets and some white art sheets, then a sketch pen. But the most important part is you will be requiring the match sticks and the glue to paste. Now in this activity, we are going to make the pattern. All right. And the pattern would be something like this we have to make squares now suppose this is a square all right next is we have to make with the help of matchstick then we got to make two square like this in this pattern we got to make two squares then three squares one two and three and similarly we have to make four square with the help of matchsticks all right so this is the pattern we are going to make and later on we will understand that why did we do this activity now let us see i have already made this and you can see this i have made the square with the help of the match sticks. So here is the square you can see. One square is made with the help of match stick and there is a question which is asked here. You are asked to find the number of sticks which are used and here we can count one, two, three, four. So we have used four squares for making one, sorry, four match sticks for making this pattern. Now let us see the other pattern where we have made two squares. Here we have made two squares and we have to count the number of match sticks which were used. These are the two squares which we have made and let us count the number of match sticks which we have used and that is four matchsticks are used for this first square and three more are made for the next square so total we have used three plus four which is seven matchsticks next is we want to make three the, the next pattern where we have three square so let us see how many matchsticks are used to make three square. So I have used match stick and we can count the number of match sticks which are used and we can easily see that it is four plus three plus three. That means there are 10 match sticks which we used. Now similarly the fourth one where we have used four squares we have made four squares and the number of match sticks which are used is four plus three plus three plus three so four plus three seven plus three ten ten plus three is thirteen that means we have made third we use of thirteen match stick to make the four square so you can see the complete data here for one we used four for two seven for three ten and for four we used 13 matchstick now my question is if we want to make hundred such square a pattern where we have hundred such square how many matchsticks will be required or if we have 125 squares for the pattern then how many matchsticks will be required? Now you see 
we did this activity and I will tell you that how we can get the answer or get the solution of this difficult question with the help of algebra. So let's see that. So here children, we can see the observation table of the activity which we performed. For making one square, we required four matchstick. For making two squares, we required seven matchstick. For three, it's ten. And for four, we required thirteen matchsticks. Now we need to observe whether there is a pattern in finding out the number of matchsticks required. Here we can see if you observe very carefully that for making one square we required three matchstick plus one more which becomes four. For making two square we required three into two which is six plus one more matchstick. For making three square we required three into three which is nine and one more matchstick and for making four square we required three into four which is 12 and one more matchstick so we observe a pattern a very clear pattern and that is going to help us to find out that how many squares or how many matchsticks will be required if you want to make the square of n number so let us see for the first one, we have 1 into 3 plus 1. For the second square, for the second, we have 2 into 3 plus 1. Here we found that it is 3 into 3 plus 1. For the four number of square, we require 4 into 3 plus 1 matchsticks. And similarly, the same pattern can be followed for n number of square. And it is going to be n into 3 plus 1. Now here we are very clear that product of n into 3, which I discussed in my previous videos also, that we avoid writing multiplication sign for algebraic expression. If we want to make the algebraic expression, we don't write 3 into n, but it can be written as 3n. So number of matchsticks used for making n number of squares is 3n plus 1. So, we got an expression for finding the number of sticks and the answer is 3n plus 1. Now we can get the answer for the questions which I asked while performing the activity and you know what were the questions i asked you to find the number of sticks to make 100 squares or 125 squares so this expression will help us to find out the number of sticks which are needed for making 100 squares and 125 squares for making 100 squares, let us see how many sticks are needed. We all know it is 3n plus 1. Now, what is n? n is the number of squares. So, that means we need to replace n with 100. So, let's do that. 3n means it is 3 into n. And 3 into n means 3 into 100 plus 1. So this becomes 300 plus 1 and finally there are 101 sticks or match sticks will be required for making 100 squares. Now let's find for 125 squares also. Here again we know it's 3n plus 1 which means 3 into n plus 1 which means 3 into 125 plus 3. 375 plus 3 which becomes 378 sticks that means we want 301 matchsticks for making 100 squares 
and 378 for making 125 squares. So this is a general expression which has given us the answer for any number of squares if you want we can easily calculate using this expression. So here is the learning outcome of this activity. Algebra can help us in getting an answer. When we performed the activity, we had a question that how many sticks, how many math sticks will be required for making some number of squares and we got an answer through algebra. If because there was a pattern which was existing. So it is a generalization of pattern. The algebraic expression which we get, it is a generalization of the pattern. One more thing which we learned here was if we are given an expression which is in this case 3n plus 1, we can find out the value of the expression. And the value of the expression is depending on the variable which is there in the algebraic expression. And here we can very clearly see that there is only one variable which is n. If the value of n is given, like here in this case, n is 100, n is 125, or for any value of n, the variable value of when the value of the variable n is given, we can find out the value of the whole expression. This is the assignment for you. It is to find an algebraic expression for the following pattern. We did an activity where we made a square and we tried to stick the math stick and try to find out the number of math sticks needed for making one square, two square, three square or four square. And then we came to know that if we want to make n number of squares, then how many sticks were required. In the same way, this is also a pattern in which I have made edge. This is the first pattern which has one edge. Now here you can see the number of sticks needed in this case is 5. Now suppose we consider edge to be made with the help of small sticks. Not math sticks but the sticks. Now how there are 5 sticks in this one edge. You can see in this part of edge we have two sticks, one and two. In this part of edge again, we have one third stick and fourth stick. And this in between is the five sticks. So we ha I have written five sticks are needed to make this pattern, one edge. Now in the next case, I want to make two edge. And we can easily see the number of sticks which are used because and it is written 8. Why it is 8? For the first edge, we have used 5 sticks. For second edge, we have used 3 more sticks. 1, 2 and 3. So the total becomes 8 sticks. Let's come to the third one. We have made three edge. For the first edge, we have used five sticks. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we got eleven. Similarly, we can count the number of sticks which are used to make four edge. And we got fourteen. Now we have to find out the number of sticks which can be used if we are making n number of edge. Here we have made 3 edge, 
4H and if we generalize it, we can make 100H, we can make 200H or we can make in general, we can say we have made N number of H. And if we have made N number of H, what is the number of sticks needed? This is what we have to find. The explanation which I gave, I'm sure that is going to help you because it was almost a hint to find out the pattern which you can observe in these cases. So I hope you will be enjoying doing this activity.